Hello everyone, welcome back to my drawing video and today I want to talk exclusively about my shading technique because Martin here asked Hey Amada, nice drawing I want to ask How do you draw very smooth like that? Do you have tutorial video? Well Martin Yes, absolutely In a moment, we'll learn just that and I'll give you guys some tips and tricks along the way as well So hit the subscribe button guys because this video is not free You need to pay, well obviously, by hitting the subscribe button Of course, I'm not kidding <laughs> So right off the bat, I'm gonna sketch the drawing real quick here. And if you've been following my video, usually I start the drawing by applying some gravite powder to make the paper a bit darker. This time, I won't be using gravite powder for my initial sketch. And instead, I will be using willow charcoal. And actually, you don't have to sketch first. I usually don't, but sometimes I like to do it because it helps me to kind of visualize where I will draw the face, how big it is, and I want to place it in the center. So sketching helps. But you need to be careful not to push too hard. Because sometimes when you push too hard, you're gonna indent the paper. So just a light sketch, like this is all I need. After I'm happy with my placement, I then begin darkening the paper by applying some willow charcoal. So why willow charcoal? This is because I want to show you that you don't have to draw neatly right from the start in order to achieve the smooth drawing look. And in fact, by starting the drawing from a rougher texture like this, it actually helps create an illusion of smoother texture. I know it doesn't make sense right now, but you will understand later. So I apply the willow charcoal roughly to where I think there will be shadow. So around the hair and around the eye socket, no shadow, mouth, it's just a rough guess, and I don't care if I make mistakes here, or if it looks ugly, I just want to darken the paper. And the second reason why we look charcoal is because I can use my big soft brush and just tap lightly like this to create a smoother texture. And you can only achieve this if you use willow charcoal, or a fine charcoal, and not charcoal pencil or compressed charcoal. Yes, they are charcoal, but they are not as much as willow or fine charcoal. And of course, at this point, my pencil sketch is gone and not visible anymore. So what I like to do is, I can also redraw the lines using my charcoal stick. This will help strengthen the sketch and help me create darker value quickly. And if I want to smudge the line again, I just rub it with my fingertip like this. Okay, so the next step is I'm shaping the light value. This is so that my sketch is more readable and better to look at, because at this point, the portrait looks like a ghost. <laughs> and of course not smooth, but bear with me guys, because this is only the sketching part. And you can see, that's how I can remove the charcoal from the paper quite easily, thanks to willow charcoal. Right, so the sketching stage is done, now I'm gonna draw the eye. And I know the video is in time-lapse right now, but when I want to show you the important things, and especially about how I achieve the smooth drawing, I'll switch to real-time speed. So don't worry about the speed, I just want you guys to learn from my video more efficiently. So when talking about smooth drawing, actually you can cheat a little bit, and you don't have to draw smoothly everywhere. So when drawing something full of details, like the eye, texture is irrelevant. All I care about is the sharpness of my pencil. The sharper the pencil, the cleaner my line is, the more accurate my drawing is, and of course, the better the drawing will look. So you can see that I draw pretty much exclusively with my mechanical pencil because it is sharper than my wooden pencil. Plus I don't have to sharpen it. The only time I use my 8B is when I want to strengthen the darkest line or darken the pupil. So after I draw the dark lines, I just brush the drawing using my small brush like this to distribute the graphite and darken the surrounding skin around the dark lines. So I don't need my pencil anymore, all I need is my brush. Well, unless I feel like I need a darker value, then I'll use my pencil, but a good rule of thumb here is don't draw too dark too soon. So for now, 
just rubbing the brush like this is actually more than enough for me. And you can see that by brushing the paper like this actually creates a super smooth texture around the eye. I will leave the video in real time speed for a moment so you guys can see how fast I'm moving my brush here. Okay, so the next step is to render the eyebrow again. I'm using my mechanical pencil here and then make it smooth out with small brush. And moving on to the other eye, again the technique is the same, mechanical pencil to draw cleanly and HP pencil for the dark spots. And here, again, I don't use my pencil anymore. Instead, I use my small brush to distribute the graphite and help me create a smooth, darker value. So this is not the final look for the eye. There will be additional steps to make this even smoother. But that's for the final stage. And I will show you towards the end of the video. Right now, my goal is to render everything. And I don't want to waste my time and be stuck in one area too long because that will make the drawing process too long. Small brush like this is also good for smoothing out the darker area, like the pupil and the eyebrow. You can see that I start darkening those areas with my pencil, and although I use a sharp pencil, you can still see the paper texture. And when I brush this area, you can see that it looks a lot smoother, as the brush will also distribute the graphite evenly between the paper texture. Also, when I feel the area is too dark, I can erase lightly with my knitted eraser like this. I just shape the eraser to a point, and I don't remove all the graphite, but only some of it, just enough to make it lighter. And the way I move my eraser here, if I want to remove a lot of graphite, I'll drag the eraser lightly. I don't push the eraser hard, because that will usually leave a visible edge. The movement is similar to when I'm shading with my pencil. And when I want to remove only some of the graphite, I will tap lightly. The eraser is usually sticky enough to pick up the excess graphite. Okay, so moving on to the nose and mouth. Here, there are not many details like the eyes. So when drawing low detail area like the nose, we need to pay more attention to their smoothness. So I begin by brushing my willow charcoal. And you can see that the surface appears smoother. And this is easy to accomplish because willow charcoal is easy to smudge. Right, so now I begin drawing the nose, just like the eye, I begin drawing from the darkest dark using my mechanical pencil. And usually there are some shadows below the nostrils, so hopefully I can blur the nostrils and spread the graphite to render the shadows with my small brush. So this is why I start from the darkest area. And because the nose lacks detail, and at this point there is not much graphite in it, I can't really darken the area with my small brush. So I just use my mechanical pencil to do the shading. To create a very light shading, I hold my pencil in a low angle and barely push the pencil and just let gravity do its work. It's important to be consistent with the pressure here. And if you're not consistent, you'll be creating uneven values. Either lower your pencil angle or decrease the pressure. You can't fix uneven values by brushing the paper or using any blender tools. So what I like to do to fix it is just shade lightly the uneven lighter areas and try to match it with the surrounding area until they look even. Okay, so the mouth is exactly the same. I use my mechanical pencil to draw the line neatly, and then I darken the core shadow using my HP pencil. And for the upper and bottom lips, I use my mechanical pencil, similar technique with the nose. Also, don't forget to draw the lips highlight. This is important to make the lips appear wet and realistic. And you can see that the paper texture is quite severe here. No need to worry, later you'll see me using my small brush to even out the shading. As for the cheek and the skin around the nose and mouth, 
Thanks to my willow charcoal, it's easy to smudge, and I already did the smoothing before I drew the nose using my small brush. So now, I only need to look out for the uneven surface. If it's too light, then I shade very lightly using my mechanical pencil. If it's too dark, I remove some of the graphite using my knitted razor. I can also spread out the graphite using my small brush again to blur out my pencil shading, really taking my time here, going back and forth until it looked perfect. The key here is patience and don't rush. I leave you guys for a moment here with my real time video so you can see how fast I'm moving my hand and how I improve the uneven surfaces to make the drawing look smoother. But once again, please bear in mind, this is not the final look, as I'll make it smoother in the final stage of the drawing. And you might notice that at this point, the skin doesn't really look perfectly smooth. This is because you're looking through my camera, and I'm using a lens that can do a good magnification. And normally, you're not going to inspect the drawing this close. So this is what it looks like from a normal distance, and I think it looks smooth already. And as I said in the beginning, it didn't really make sense. But it's starting to make sense now that starting the drawing from a rougher texture actually helps create the illusion of smoothness. As the background is rough and the face is smooth, we force our brain to do a comparison between the two, and that's how the illusion works. So after the face is done, now let's go ahead and render the rest of the drawing. So normally, I don't really care about texture anymore at this point. So in my opinion, it's totally okay if the clothes or the hair or the background appear to be rougher, as long as it doesn't look too rough and look wrong. And if you know me, I love doing abstract things. Yes, the portrait will look photorealistic, but the background will be abstract. This way, I don't feel like I'm copying photographs. I feel creative, plus remember our comparison theory, the abstract background actually helps. So in my portrait drawing, there will be light versus dark, soft versus rough, and realism versus abstract. I personally think that these things will make the portrait look more interesting. So that's my technique to draw smoothly. I will talk again towards the end of the video to show you the final stage, but now let me render the rest of the drawing in time-lapse. Thank you. 
Okay guys, so this is the result so far. You probably think that my drawing right now is smooth, but to be honest, I still can improve this, and actually you can see more clearly in closer look that the drawing is actually not quite smooth yet. And this is the final stage, where I will be inspecting everything, fixing my mistakes, smoothing out the skin tone even further, and cleaning up the drawing. To see the imperfections more clearly, this is my secret and probably you won't get this tip from anywhere else, is to check the drawing from a lower angle. You can see, there are a lot of imperfections along the cheek line here, some areas don't look as smooth, so that's what we are trying to fix, and that's one way to check out imperfections in your drawing. So first, I'm gonna try to reduce those darker spots with my knitted eraser. This eraser is surprisingly good for this kind of task as I could just shape it to a point and accurately lift some of the graphite from the paper. When doing this, I don't over erase the drawing, just tapping once or twice is usually sufficient. Also I don't blindly tap the drawing, I try to hit only the darker spots and try to match it with the surrounding area. As for the paper texture, I try to reduce its size by filling it with my graphite. I find that mechanical pencil works the best. I try to fill every white gap I could find. And the key here is not to remove the paper texture, but to make it look even. This process is really time consuming, and I could easily spend between 30 minutes to an hour, depending on how smooth I want my drawing to be. Also, I don't really bother with the hair or the background, as long as the imperfection doesn't bother the drawing, I just leave it as is. All I care about here is only the skin. The cheek, forehead, nose, jaw, and neck. I'll try to make them appear smooth, but I also don't go crazy about them. Because I'm human, so at the end of the day, I just accept the imperfections I couldn't fix and just try to be better next time. So this is how I get the smooth shading look. So Martin, if you're watching this video, I hope this helps improve your drawing technique. And if you guys like the video, please support my channel, hit the subscribe button because that will encourage me to create more drawing videos like this. Or if you guys have any questions like Martin, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers!